This is the entrance to the station and I have showed up early so I can uh, take some pictures. Normally when I come out here I don't have time to even think about taking pictures. Here's the pond that is uh, next to the station and as we take a look around we'll take a look at the towers there's four of them all together and here's the uh, transmitter building and here's the other two towers and this one right here is the main tower. I'm sure you have noticed that there are fences around the towers. That's because the towers are hot. Meaning that we got 50,000 watts there and obviously if you were to touch the tower you would turn into a crispy critter. So that's why we have fences around the towers and also a warning sign on the fences. Now when you're driving around a station like this you also have to be very careful not to hit any of the guide wires. Now here's a look at what's inside of the fence. You can see the box, the uh, cable comes up from the ground into the box and then on the back side over to the tower. We are going to get some new air conditioning units today. So while I'm waiting let's go inside the transmitter building and take a look at the equipment. Here is the 50,000 watt transmitter bay. At the far end is where the 50,000 watts comes out of the transmitter. That is the large copper pipe that you see. That's actually a large coax. Then we have 48 smaller units, PAs, that develops the 50,000 watts. So each one develops a little over a thousand watts of power. And then in the center of that is the control bay for the 50,000 watt transmitter. Here's a closer look at where the power comes out of the transmitter. You can get a much better look at that copper pipe. Now that flat piece of copper that's attached to the pipe, that is the ground wire. Now the other end of that copper pipe goes across the room, which you can see here, and into that large beige metal box with controls on the front. That's the phaser, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Getting back to the transmitter, you can see a large burn mark on the left side. Well, what happened there is one of the capacitors blew up and this is what one of those capacitors looks like. These are rectifier diodes that are found in the power supply for this transmitter and I believe that this transmitter uses 24 of these. Here's a shot of the front panel part of it and you can see six of the PAs. Now I did a video on the inside of this transmitter so you could hear what it sounds like. Here's a closer look at the PAs four of them. 
and you can actually hear the components being modulated themselves as the current varies in these units. Here's a closer look at one unit, one PA, and there's three little transmitters in there added together, puts out a little over a thousand watts. Here's a side view of one of these units, and here is a closer look at that phaser. Now what this does is the power comes in at the top, goes through some coils and capacitors, and is distributed to the four towers. And depending on the power that's applied to a particular tower and the phasing, that allows this unit to direct the signal of the station. And it's very important once that's set up not to be moved again. And somebody has left a note on this phaser unit. And this looks like a Winston to me. Here's a picture of a typical coil that's inside this phaser unit. And of course some are larger and some are, uh, well, not too many of them are smaller than this one. It uh, has to handle 50,000 watts. Here is a look on the back side of this transmitter. You can see it's got some heavy-duty air conditioning ducts that blow on the back of the transmitter. And here is the back of the transmitter. You can see that each PA has its own fan. Well, that's it for the transmitter tour. And here we're back at the pond again. The neighbor came over and said that there was a goose and a duck sitting on eggs right next to the pond. And if I'd like to try and take a picture of that. So I followed him over and he showed me where they were. And here is a picture of the goose sitting on her nest. A little bit closer picture here. And here is the duck. And a little bit closer picture. I hope you enjoyed this very quick tour of this transmitter site.